Welcome back to day 10 of Advent of the Cyber. And today we are doing networking. This is offensive is best practice. And it looks like we have to scan our network to determine how the attackers got on the network. So starting right now, we actually have to use Nmap. And it will teach you how to use Nmap and also the three-way handshake and how it's involved in Nmap. Also highlights the most common ports that you should know. So that's our challenge today is to learn how to use Nmap and how to identify open ports on a network. So it looks like the attacker did some scans and we're trying to follow their steps. First step says, help my security and run Nmap minus ST. How many ports are open? So we're going to see if we can find open ports. So we ran the ST. ST stands for TCP Connect Scan. And this will, the system will ask the victim to try to connect to us. And as you can see here, we have two ports, 22 and 80. So let's go to try hack me. We only have two ports. And what is the smallest port is 22. What is the service related to the highest port number that you found in your first question? That's HTTP. Now run nmap minus ss. This is a scene scan. So this time we're actually sending a scene scan. Last time we did not. And as you can see, looking at the results here, we see the same exact results. So our answer is yes. If you run nmap to detect the version of the services installed, you run nmap minus SV. This is my favorite. What is the version number of the web server? SV will enumerate service version numbers. It's version 2.4. It's Apache version 2.449. All right. By checking the vulnerabilities related to the web server, you learn that there is a critical vulnerability that allows path transversal and execution. Now you can tell my skid that the Grinch Enterprise used this vulnerability. What is the V numbers of the vulnerability that was solved in this version? Okay, let's see. So opening that. So it looks like this is the CVE number right here and submit. That is correct. Okay. You're putting a piece, the pieces together now. So now we need to run a full TCP scan by putting uh, the dash here. This will scan all 65,535 ports. So let's go and do that. ST, then uh, two ports, then I'll do v dash VV. I'd like to see the results in real time. And it's scanning. All right, so after a while, you notice that our P scan here finished and we see port, we see port 2212, whatever that port is. That's the port we found. All right, let's do it again. This time with minus SV. So today service scan SV, then specify the port. Give us the service version for that. And as you can see now, we have telnet, so it's Linux telnet D. And just like that, we completed day 10. This was an easy challenge. And if you're interested in learning more, please check out the network security room. Uh, I haven't taken it yet, but I encourage you to take it as well, because that's very, very uh, interesting stuff here. So thanks for being here. If you like this, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow.